we are in Moab and this is Jeep Safari weekend. This is like Jeep Mecca and this is the week to be here. Thousands, tens, probably over 100,000 people from all over the world are coming down here to see the new Jeeps but also to take their own Jeeps and go on some of the most iconic off-road Jeep trails in the entire world. This is such a fun time. If you've never been down here during this time, if you've, ne if you've never been here, period, you gotta come. But if you come during this time, it's a little bit hectic, chaotic. And in that sense, it's not super fun. But it's so cool to see how people trick out their Jeeps. But we're down here meeting somebody very, very cool. Super excited about this. It is TFL Truck. I don't know if you know those guys. Uh, if you don't, go check out their YouTube channel. They got some of the best content on the market when it comes to trucks and reviewing, off-road performance, towing performance, and we're gonna meet up with them and they're gonna do some tow testing to the all-new Roamer One. And they're gonna do some off-roading with it and just kind of give their impressions and we're giving it to them and we're gonna let them take it off and do some reviews on it for the next month or two. A little nervous, honestly, but also very excited to see what they think and what they say about the new Roamer One. I shouldn't be too nervous, mostly just excited because it's one of the best things you can buy on the market right now. So I think they're gonna be pretty impressed with it. So here we go. Hey Shane, thanks for meeting me out here in Moab, Utah. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, in this video, we're going to kind of talk about the Roamer One. So, uh, first of all, tell me, how did you get into? And this is a private label unit, right? Yeah, it's a white label. Um, we're working with, teamed up with a manufacturer uh -huh. to get this trailer essentially built. He's built it for us. It's a long, long story, but essentially, but uh, yeah. So yeah. essentially, been in business 15 years. We have a location in South Carolina, Utah. And we were working with just regular travel trailers, realized, man, these are just cheap. So we kept on like evolving, trying to get to nicer products and nice motorhomes. And then we realized on the weekends, we like do what we call overlanding. Yeah, right? it is. And we'd yep. come out with our Jeeps and our trucks and whatever, Land Rover, I had a Jeep. And, and it's just like, on the weekends, we're like camping in Moab. But during the week, we're like selling these 40 foot motor coaches that cost a million dollars. And we're just like, this is not us. So we thought, man, it would be really cool to build like an off-road camper or RV, right? And then we started looking into it and we found out, you know, the Australians, they're doing a really good job at building stuff. So we reached out to them and started trying to sync up with manufacturers, started importing. We're one of the first people to import off-road stuff from Australia. We, we actually carry Patriot, Kimberly. Yep. And then we just got thinking like, we're importing all of this stuff. It would be really cool if we could sync up with somebody in America that could build something American made. Yeah, it's funny because like, uh, you know, the South Africans basically pioneered the rooftop tent, right? Yeah. And the Australians pioneered kind of the Patriot campers. Caravans. Yeah, but that's not American style off-roading. No, it's not. You know, the grass is always greener on the other side, sure. right? So we started importing and seeing these and we're like, these are amazing and they're doing some things that Americans aren't doing, but Americans are doing some stuff that are good too. And we deal with cold weather, extreme elevations, and they're like on the, on the wash and the sand and the beach. It's just a different climate. And so we're like, we really need to sync up with somebody that can build American made for Americans, but kind of more of the Australian way. Right, yeah, something that can actually take the punishment of going off-road versus just being on-road. So kind of walk me through what makes this special. Let's well, start with the suspension and the tires, There's a bunch of, yeah, there's a bunch of things. And I would say there's three things that you have to have to consider yourself an off-road trailer. Yep. And we see all these big manufacturers come out saying, this is an off-road trailer. And you're like, well, why is it an off-road trailer? Because it has big tires. We flip the axles. It's a leaf spring, solid axle. And it's like, really? Is that kind of like putting big tires on a Geo Metro or a Kia? You know what I mean? No, no, true that, man. So to us, one of the biggest things is suspension. If you don't have a good suspension, you're not really an off-roader, right? This is an independent A-arm. This has uh, gas shocks with reservoirs, airbags, 
the suspension, when you're hitting a washboard, this is just gonna kind of glide over the road. And you'll notice as you're towing it and going off-roading. Well, because you got a lot of stuff in there that can break and fall apart, right? If the thing's really getting hammered. Exactly, and leaf springs, they've been around for hundreds of years sure. on carriages. And so it's just, to me, that's not an off-road vehicle. You, you got Jeeps, you test out Ford Raptors. Yep. You gotta have a good suspension. That's number one okay. most important thing in an off-road trailer. The number two would be an articulating hitch. And so this is an articulating hitch. So it actually rotates 360 degrees in every single direction. It's like a knuckle almost, but if you're dropping into a wash, you're not gonna get caught up on a bowl. Yeah, sure. Because at a certain point, the ball is gonna snap off. Or you're gonna put a lot of structural strain on the actual frame or the walls of the trailer, and you're gonna see stress cracking over time. Truly for an off-road trailer, you have to have an articulating hitch that's gonna go side to side. If you're in a wash and you're cambering to the right, to the left, you want the hitch to be taking that not the trailer's frame and walls and suspension. Yeah, sure. Number three, it's inside, which okay. we'll go in in a bit, I guess. Okay. All right, let's come on in here and see what modern camping luxury looks like. Oh, this is very nice. My first time in here. And I gotta say, the aesthetic in here is uh, modern yet chic. Yes. So tell me about number three. It's locking latches, like cabinetry. You can't be driving down the road and get into your trailer with all your cabinets open and stuff falling on the ground and broken. So you have to be able to lock or secure the interior latches. Everything locks. These are metal latch we import from Italy. Italian latches and under here you have latches. Get you into storage here, all through up there, down there. Wanna, you also have some switches here that turn on and off the lights. And so then when you go to bed you can just turn them off. Yeah, and if you press and hold, yeah. they dim. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Uh, where does the lithium battery live? So let me show you. Yeah. So oh, look at that. Holy cow. Yeah, so right here we have our laundry hamper okay. that we throw in. Okay. It's funny, a lot of things like details, you get a trailer and you yeah. go, where do I put my dirty clothes? Where do right I put there. my trash can? <laughs> where do I put this, you know? And that's kind of like the whole idea is we wanted to make sure everything was there. So lift this up. That's a lot of onboard power. Yep. That is a lot of onboard power. It has a thousand eighty amp hours of lithium okay. battery. As a comparison, a standard trailer is going to have anywhere from eighty to maybe one hundred and sixty amps, like a standard American trailer, brand new, off the lot. Kind of so, give you. So this is this is, this is much more <laughs> much more capable of staying off grid for much longer. Yeah, exactly. Three hundred sixty amp hours each per, per unit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that, is that the remote control over there, the, the that, Wi-Fi? That, no, that's actually for your tire pressure monitoring system. So they have heat and pressure on all four tires that you can sync up to your phone or a, a little device for wow. your truck while you're driving. Because that's one of the biggest failures for blowouts and tire issues on trailers, not yeah. running proper pressure or they get yeah, I've always, or heated. I've always wondered like why, you know, on most trailers, the tires look like they're from 1922. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're using, and now you've got tire pressure monitoring that you can hook up to an app. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, with, and we didn't mention disc brakes. I was wondering about that. Yeah, they're all disc brakes, so super strong going down. You know, we used to uh, drum brakes yeah. with a trailer pushing your truck down a steep hill yeah. off-roading. That's scary. Yeah. So the Starlink actually hides behind the hamper. Okay. Can't see it. And then over here we have a 2000 watt inverter. And those three black boxes, mm -hmm. those are solar charge controllers. So the solar array, that 1240 watts, it's actually set up in three different arrays. So if one ever broke or you ever had an issue, you have a... Well, second, second and third. So redundancy. Yeah, it's a redundancy. Yeah. Same thing with the charging system. We have two different charging systems in here. Wow. So if you ever had like the inverter or charger system fail, you have a secondary backup charging system. So we tried to try to have some redundancies to so, make it so you don't have it. Initially, initially, I was thinking this is like the ultimate off grid, but now it feels like the ultimate like bug out trailer, right? Because you've got, you, I mean, you could live out of this thing you potentially. Could oh yeah, absolutely. Big water tank, big gray tank, sixty gallons no black tank mm. so this has a system where you don't ever have to dump a black tank and that makes it even more off-grid bug out ready so so talk about these controls up here so what, what do these guys do so right here yeah. this is your truma this is a german company uh -huh. and this is your water heater and your furnace forced okay. air one of the things i didn't haven't mentioned is the walls are just about three inches thick standard rv wall is going to be one to one and a half inch thick so it's insane how thick these walls, same with the roof and floor. This thing is designed to go to 40 degrees below zero. Well, so you can take up to Alaska in the winter. 
That's the idea. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And this Truma, it's over 20,000 BTU of heat, hot water. It's incredible. You have this as your inverter system. So when you're off grid, you want to power up your outlets from your batteries to run a TV. You're gonna you're gonna turn that on or a laptop or whatever. This is just your monitoring system. Say you have 988 amp hours, and this is your solar bank, and you can see how much solar is coming in right now. We're getting 9.8 amps. And so, talk to me about the kitchen now. Let's let's see what you guys do with the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So, a few things. One yeah. of the things I mentioned was the trash can. Okay. Silly. Most trailers don't have a trash can. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, what do you do with your trash? It also comes with that trash roux on the back of the tr trailer, and that's just more storage. A uh, little towel rack. This is a pretty cool sink, kind of modular, does a bunch of things. Cutting board here, um, and then you can like move this around. You can fill up just this little thing to wash dishes instead of the whole sink. And then you have a drying rack or vegetables, strainer. And it just kind of gives you a lot of little options. Yeah, which is nice, obviously. The more options, the better when you're tight for space. And trying to conserve water too, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, and then I think it's storage up here. Here. Oh wow, you've done racks so when you're when you're bouncing down the trail it doesn't exactly bounce and into we, itself. <laughs> we we have we have done some pretty rough trails in here already. So little toaster oven, microwave nice. comes with. Yeah. Throw in a s'mores kit. Okay. And of course first time trip utensils. <laughs> Alright, now about this I think it comes out, right? Yeah, yeah, no no, this actually drops down and turns into a bed. Oh. And there's a cushion that fills in this gap Wow! and you have a almost six foot bed. So you can have like uh, the kid these. A kid or an adult, another adult, adult. right? Yeah. If you're a hunter, you want to bring your friend, your mate. This is an induction, yeah, so it's induction an electric top. induction cooktop. Yep. So no propane right off of the batteries. With the battery bank and the solar array, yeah. this is possible. And if you want to cook and grill, you go outside. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. what about these controls? Um, so this is your water tank system and that's just a light for this area. Okay. And then your water pump. You also have tank heaters. So we mentioned 40 below zero. If you do get in that situation, you want to turn on your tank heaters. If you're around zero degrees, you don't need to do anything. All right. the forced air will keep it warm enough. Okay. You turn that on for extra. And then um, down here, let me show you. We got our silverware set up. Wow, um, branded. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. look at exactly. that. Exactly. But we've been out off-roading in it, and the silverware was bouncing out of it because it was not deep enough. So we brought it back in and we said, let's make it deeper. They added an inch to it. Same thing with the cups. So we are like, we've gotten it pretty dialed in. And then this is just storage. You do get some pans and these are all designed for the induction cooktop. And they say Romer on them too. More and storage. Extra storage. Yeah. And it's all soft close. You see that? And then more storage. storage. All right, and then you got a uh, fridge freezer combo. Yeah, and these stainless are stainless steel, of course. Yeah, stainless steel. Yeah. Drinks, uh, super efficient. One of the most efficient refrigerators you can buy on the market. This is an isotherm. It's made in Italy, and designed for hundred million dollar yachts. Wow. Like, this is what you see in the most expensive below deck in the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, you see, it's all metal latches. These are designed to be jostled back and forth to over forty-five degree angles, because it's made for the ocean, right? That's been a big important thing with the whole trailer is use the most air premium. Air conditioner? Yeah, this is a Dometic 12 volt, pure 12 volt AC unit. Wow. So this does not run through the inverter. This runs purely off the batteries. One of the cool things is a lot of people are always wondering when they buy a trailer, what type of generator do I buy? It doesn't matter because the only thing you use a generator for this trailer is to charge the batteries and the batteries run every single component so, of the trailer. So let's say you're here in Moab, right? Uh, and it's very sunny here. In the in the winter and it gets cold at night how long can you run like everything in here just off the batteries how long have you done that test yet? um yeah. yeah so i mean we've been out i've been out at in the winter yeah. not now like right. when it was even colder right, and the right. sun was less summer's high. easy we were well almost a week out before we started getting a little worried okay concerned wow so you got about a week of power and that was with ca our camera guys okay who are charging tons of stuff every gear, day, yeah. laptops. We were not trying to conserve our power. Right. We you're were just, trying just to- Just living hard. Yeah, the way we wanted to, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Watching the TV every night, streaming stuff off of Starlink. Starlink takes seven to eight amps per oh, hour. Yeah. And we were running Starlink almost the entire week. Mm. And we didn't die. We were at like 20 or 30% by the end of the week. So uh, tell me about the toilet. So this is- I this think is, it's not a, not a composting toilet. No, it's not a <laughs> composting toilet. This is a dry flush by Lavio. Uh -huh. um, so it's like a diaper genie, if you've yeah. ever <laughs> seen one of those. So you just go in there and it sucks it 
into it like vacuum seals it into a bag okay below it and once you're done you just pull it out and throw it away all right so pretty yeah. easy when you're off grid the worst thing the things that kind of prevent you from staying out camping longer is power water and your tanks right dumping your black tank right, right? you're gonna have to pull your whole trailer in to go dump it you'll never have to pull your so that's why you don't have a black tank exactly, exactly. yeah exactly so it creates like a little yeah yeah it seals it in. <laughs> yeah like right. a little poo sausage yeah exactly <laughs> Das ist gut. Yeah. Nice modern sink. Uh, this is uh, air conditioning? That's max air vent fan Okay. for uh, exhaust. And then the shower? And yeah, and yeah. you have a, a bench that you can sit down. Obviously, this is a small trailer designed for off-road. Yeah. So it's not massive, but it's um, look, very, I'm, very comfortable. We're both big guys. Yeah. You know? uh, maybe too big. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to eat better. <laughs> I'm saying that. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm 6'2", and I don't have to duck, which is nice. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, I could, I could feel comfortable in here. Oh, absolutely. Something that makes ROA unique from any other place in America is we have a really cool community of people. We do adventures. We also have a rally every year. We have 40 acres down by Zion mm -hmm. where people from all over the country come every September. And we actually call them roamers. Okay. So yeah, they're ROA, sense. right? It's uh, ROA. Yeah, but I was talking about that ROA. Yeah, it's ROAs yeah, of America. America yeah. MER, yeah. right? ROA MER. So when they get a camper from us, they become part of a community of roamers. And then we go on adventures. I mean, we did Baja for two weeks last year. We try to do that annually. We're actually coming to Moab in two weeks with like a dozen trailer owners, right? All coming down here, gonna go to Chicken's Corners, we're gonna rent razors. And some of these people are traveling from Florida, New York to come and be on this adventure. They've never seen anything like this. And so we try to curate this really cool experience for them. And the only way you become a part of the community is obviously buying a trailer from us. Not just a Roamer one, right. but any of the trailers. And your ones. website? Uh, it's rvsofamerica.com yep. or roaoffroad.com. Okay. You can right. find us there. All right, well, thank you very much. This yeah, has been you. a really fun uh, walk around. I'm you know, glad to see that uh, this is uh, more American style. Yes. I'm gonna go overlanding. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be modern uh, as opposed to you know the stuff that they not that there's anything wrong with what they do in Australia, but like you said, both South Africa and Australia they don't get very cold. Yes. And we do. <laughs> That's my Roamer One right there in front. It's leaving me. Hooked up to our Raptor R. Unfortunately, not a power wagon, but you know, it needs to be tested out with other vehicles. But up there we got, that's a TFL truck, Tommy and Roman. Uh, that's the father-son combo on TFL. And they got a Roamer one. They're gonna take it out. They're gonna test it with Raptors, TRXs, and all the other 1500s, hopefully. We're just gonna let them kind of go off with it and give us some feedback you know we really want to hear people's feedback and that's how we learn that's how we learn to improve things and and we always want to be innovating and making things better so i'm excited a little nervous but mostly just excited so goodbye roamer one beautiful huh say that again i said i like this this is beautiful oh this is a big deal actually this is best in class towing suv on the market right now. It's almost 10,000 pounds. A lot of people come in, they're like, hey, I wanna tow a trailer with a, an SUV. And they don't realize like, there's not a lot of good options out there, but they're releasing a new model that's gonna be best in class, almost 10,000 pounds. And that will actually open up the market to tow a lot of things. Before we head out, uh, we wanted to come, we're, I mean, we're at Jeep Safari and we wanna kinda check out the cool Jeeps. They always have some cool concept vehicles and we just wanna check things out. Just saw the Wagoneer, which is sweet. You know, really, really good for towing big trailers, but we're gonna walk around and look at some of the cool stuff. Are they pulling it? Are they revealing it soon? In one minute? Yeah. In one minute? Ooh. They're actually revealing something new in like the next right 60 now? seconds, like right now. So this is pretty cool that we're here for this. So based on your wish list, we've created the new 2024 Wrangler. Yeah! You guys like it? So, this, the new Wrangler, Sorry. it's You're infused fine. with greater capability, added refinement, new technology, and more standard safety features. All while staying true to its roots and delivering on the freedom to go anywhere and to do anything. 
let's start with capability. I think one of the first things that a lot of you guys notice is what's hanging off the front bumper of both of these. Yes, we have a new available from the factory 8,000 pound Warden Winch full factory warranty. And underneath the back end of every single Rubicon, there's a heavy duty Dana 44 full float rear axle that delivers up to 5,000 pounds of towing. That's best in class towing, 5,000 wow. pounds. And we don't have one here today, but Willie's also got a capability upgrade. 33 inch tires and a standard rear locking differential for more capability. This is really cool. So it's they just revealed the 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Um, and they have a model coming in a Rubicon that's rated to tow 5,000 pounds. That's insane. So the standard Wranglers, you're typically around 3,500 pounds, which just limited you, limited you to so like few uh, trailers, right? Like Patriots and that was really, I mean, a few, there's other trailers that you could tow, but it was just very limited. 5,000 pounds is insane. Like the X145, Explore is 4,500 pounds. If you didn't put like the Max Solar and all of the options in it, you could potentially get it closer to 4,000 if you shaved off some stuff on it. And you could, oh, I, I wouldn't recommend you tow with the Jeep, but I'm just saying like, it's pretty cool that 5,000 pounds is a big, big, big deal. Um, I think that's the most exciting thing about this Jeep. Well, there you have it, Jeep Safari. We didn't come for very long. We just mostly came to meet up with TFL. Okay. And it was kind of a happy, I don't want to say coincidence, but it's awesome that we got to see the reveal of the new Jeeps. And the fact that they, they can tow 5,000 pounds. Oh, and the new Wagoneer that can tow 10,000 pounds. That's a big deal. Those are like, cause they're very, we just saw a tricked out Wagoneer over there with 35 inch tires, front worn winch, like, pretty cool like that would be a cool off-roading SUV that you could potentially put probably seven plus people in it so big family but tow 10,000 pounds you could tow any trailer we have essentially uh, the pause might be a little bit on the heavier side for that but all of our other trailers would be fine to tow with the new Wagoneer and the new Jeep man that opens up a lot of new trailers so I'm excited about it very cool 
Uh, the guys over at TFL, amazing guys. Go check out their YouTube channel. And uh, super excited about some of the new future. I think the manufacturers are just realizing they need more tow capacities because it's a trend. People want to go out off-road with cool trailers, especially our trailers, because they're the coolest. Let's just be real. Anyways, we'll see you soon.